Hello everyone just podcast TV is here please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified on new contents. Episode 323. There's nothing I don't understand. A fire tornado that used to roll QZ successfully rolled up to the wind chaser. Luna was very happy that the sales had increased just after a few days. But in just a few days, the fire tornado burned on the wind chaser again. Luna finally realized that it must have been Zack's doing. He let QZ set the fire. Finally, it led to his own wind chaser. Luna looked at Zack, who was sitting on the sofa leisurely drinking tea, and said, You can do it. You also put me in it. All the higher-ups of QZ Group were fooled by you, and your own brand was set on fire, Luna said. She looked at Zack, who was leisurely drinking tea on the sofa, and said, Now all this attention has flooded onto your new car. Zack did not comment. He just looked at Luna with a smile. Are the sales of the cars under QZ coming up? Luna told the truth. They are coming up. Even though it had fallen down, it is still double the sales from before. It is almost double the sales. Zack nodded and asked again. Then, did the unreleased brand be promoted well? Luna could not deny it. It has indeed been set on fire. There are still many people waiting for the wind chaser to be listed. Zack asked again. Then, have you become famous in the company? Luna had nothing to say. She was not only strong. Mac had not even abdicated yet. But the next CEO of the entire internet was Luna. She had not even thought of a title. President Luna. Even the internet was so strong, let alone the internal development of the company. The leaders of the sales company and the planning company even suggested for Luna to stand for the QZ brand and become the spokesperson. Although Luna did not agree to this, it did not stop her from secretly becoming prettier in her heart. Luna was just about to become the new national goddess, and it made all the female celebrities in the entertainment industry blush with shame. Luna silently agreed. Zack continued, You see, your QZ cars have been sold. Your brand has been praised. Your new cars have been looked forward to. And your beautiful boss has been praised. I just took the opportunity to push my wind chaser out at the right time. Besides, wind chaser is also the name of the QZ brand. And the logo is still yours. You're not happy about this? Isn't this too overbearing? I was the one who started this fire tornado. What's wrong? You want to get rid of the donkey before you even get a share of the profit? Luna felt embarrassed after hearing Zack's words. In fact, this was what happened. Everything was planned by Zack. It could be said that none of them were as smart as Zack. By right, it was already very good that the QZ group had taken advantage of them for free. After thinking this through, Luna became even more embarrassed. She said in embarrassment, Sorry, I was too greedy for a moment. I always think of everything. I have neglected to think of everything this time. Zack smiled and said to Luna, Apologizing is not empty talk. You need to have some sincerity and punishment. Then, I will treat you to a meal, Luna said. That's more like it. Zack smiled. Luna then went to Mac's office. Luna, the younger generation will surpass us. The younger generation will surpass us. As soon as she entered, Mac praised Luna. This series of chess moves of yours is too beautiful. Not only did it raise ourselves, but it also suppressed our competitors. Not only our own brand, but even the joint venture brand under our banner also rose. Before this, I didn't dare to look at the news regarding our QZ brand online. I was afraid of being scolded, but now it was different. Now I watch it every day, and it'll be refreshed in a while. I have to look at it before going to bed at night. Ha <laughs> I'm really smiling. I didn't expect that our QZ would have such a bright 
red and beautiful day that's great and thanks to you the higher ups are calling me to a meeting tomorrow they want to praise me mac really liked luna from the bottom of his heart back then the old leader sean had brought him out previously he had wanted to bring luna out but who would have thought that before he could bring luna luna this vigorous energy would push him up i originally wanted to pull you up but i didn't think that it would be you pushing me up now <laughs> on the other side mac was extremely happy but luna was especially embarrassed on the other side this was obviously all thanks to zack how could she be as good as everyone praised her luna did not dare to receive such praise and honor anymore so she told mac the truth of the matter mac was stunned at that time not you to be honest i also guess that it wasn't you but after all you're too young it's more like an old leader who can play this old trick that's why i've always thought that it was the old leader's grand scheme it was his scheme behind the scenes now tell me is it the plot of that young man zack the old leader asked mac could not believe that zack a young man in his 20s could be so brutal in the business he actually knew how to take advantage of the situation and break out of the situation this kind of old trick must have been used by old men who had been in the business for many years right such a big chain of events was it zack who did it alone when luna nodded her head to confirm mac was stunned he was stunned by zack Episode 324 Hydrogen Production Young people are different they are smart Mac kept praising Zack and Luna he likes such young people from the bottom of his heart these two similarly excellent young people also made him feel that there seemed to be a possibility so he then said to Luna Luna you are already over 30 years old what are you waiting for If you miss it again, it will be gone. Suddenly bringing the topic to her made Luna panic. But after thinking about it carefully, Mac was right. After that, the two of them started the car problem again. When Luna mentioned the sunscreen parts, Zack said, "The factory has already been taken over by me. The old staff and venue are all there. The new equipment will be ready. It's very convenient." After the equipment is adjusted, It could be put into production immediately. Anyway, with you and QZ and my wind chasing brand, the profit is certain. It's just a matter of how much. If we can make money, we can also guarantee the quality of the parts. Why not? Luna was slightly stunned. She did not expect Zack to quietly take over Jack's district parts factory. What a fast movement. It had only been a few days. It could be said that the police had just finished investigating and the owner had changed but thinking about it carefully what zack said made a lot of sense with the wind chasing brand and qz backing it up it could not be easy for this parts factory to die as long as they did not cause trouble in quality they would not die after that luna said now that the adjustment for the new car is done there is only the problem of solid hydrogen Zack put down his chopsticks, picked up the water to rinse his mouth, and then replied, "About the matter of solid hydrogen, Larry is already doing it. This is not too much of a hassle." Luna asked, "It is not too much of a hassle? It should be just a little bit of a hassle, right? And it is also a very big and needs electrolyte. Water was made up of hydrogen and oxygen elements." This kind of experiment had been done in junior high school. So the first thing Luna thought of when she was purifying hydrogen was electrolyte water. If she wanted to purify hydrogen in large quantities, the electricity consumption would be unimaginable. She did not think about environmental protection. It was simply about the cost of the production. It was a very troublesome thing. I have already considered this matter. There are many methods to produce 
and purify hydrogen. The first is electrolysis. Zach said, industrial electrolyte water to produce hydrogen. Use iron nickels to connect to the solution of the acidic nitrogen or the acidic sodium. Positive poles produce oxygen and negative poles produce hydrogen. This method has a high cost, but the purity of the product is high. It can be directly produced at 99%. And at the same time, the oxygen can also be sold to other units to reduce the cost. But since we are doing this to reduce energy consumption, therefore, we don't have to consider this method. After all, the power generation relies on coal, which is the same as the energy transfer of an electric vehicle. The nature of the energy transfer hasn't changed at all. So this method is ruled out. The second method is to use water and gas to produce hydrogen. Using smokeless coal or coal as the raw material and water vapor to react at high temperatures. The water and the gas will then be converted and purified, obtaining hydrogen storage. However, this method is also based on energy consumption. There is no fundamental change. The third method is to use synthetic gas and natural gas produced from oil and heat fractures to produce hydrogen gas. The production of hydrogen from oil and heat fractures is very large often used for gasoline and hydrogen, oil, chemical, and chemical fertilizer plants. This method of producing hydrogen is used in many countries in the world. Zach spoke frankly. If Luna did not know the details, it was really possible that she would think that Zach was an expert in chemical engineering. Episode 325 test drive Zach was really powerful it seemed like there was nothing that he didn't understand however Zach was still saying actually there are still many ways to produce hydrogen as far as I know there are still many ways to produce hydrogen there are at least four more ways but since the oil and heat fractures already exist we might as well buy them in large quantities from them we just need to solidify the hydrogen and then transport it. In the long run, although this will cost us an extra piece, it is too dangerous to manufacture and purify hydrogen if security control is not good enough. Furthermore, it also follows the concept of energy saving and environmental protection. If you make less, then make less. If you don't have to worry about money, then you can naturally be at ease in other aspects. That's why I took down District Processing Factory and used this portion of profit to cover the cost of solid hydrogen. Overall, my cake is still so big that I didn't use up even half a cent. Luna finally understood why Zach took down a car parts factory for no reason. She thought Zach should not care about the small amount of money. It turned out that he was using it to supplement solid hydrogen. No wonder the more successful the businessman the more successful he will be. It turns out that you have already planned how big the cake is. If you can't make such a big cake, then go up from other aspects and set a goal for yourself. You must do it. Luna felt that after chatting with Zach, she was really learning and gaining experience. Every seemingly meaningless action had a clear reason behind it. However, Luna was a little curious. You plan everything so clearly, and your purpose is so clear. Aren't you tired? Zach replied with a laugh. Eh, lying at home and watching TV is not tiring. But money will not knock on the door. So what you do is like doing something. When you earn money, you concentrate on making money. And when you play, you concentrate on playing. Otherwise, that would be tiring. When you earn money, you want to go out and play. But you aren't in the mood to earn money. When you play, you want to earn money, but you want to play. You don't have a good time. I think that's what I'm really tired of. You know? Luna could not help but raise her thumb. Director Marquez, you have learned. With the help of QZ's Fire Dragon Scroll, Wind Chasing's brand was at its peak. As long as there were any signs of it falling, Carson 
would use his identity as an internal employee to expose it appropriately. After everyone's appetite was whetted, the press conference was also opened. Wind Chaser In this press conference, QZ Group put Wind and Chaser together. A regular fuel power vehicle and a hydrogen power vehicle. Both cars were released. To be honest, both cars had good appearances. One was an SUV. Regardless of appearance, lighting, configuration, or anything else, it was very beautiful, and everyone liked it very much. The starting price was also suitable. It started at $150,000, giving the guests and media who were attending the press conference a pleasant surprise. The next car shown was a sedan model. The silver exhibition car was quite textured under the highlight of the LED. All the details were shown, including the existence of solid hydrogen and other details. Under the scrutiny of the magnifying glass, everyone could only express their own opinions that were not good in appearance or that the internal layout was unreasonable. However, this was a matter for the benevolent to see the wise. The rationality between each part was very strong, including the replacement of the 36 curved tubes and 28 straight tubes. Although the 36 curved tubes were cheaper and the quality was the same, this car used 28 straight tubes. It was not because of the limited space in the engine compartment, but because 28 straight tubes were more suitable for a straight line swing of power. Just this small problem was enough to cause more than a dozen more units of horsepower to be added to the car. This was something those non-practitioners would not be able to discover. Sandra had only discovered this when he had personally tested and changed his attire. In short, after admiring the production line of the workshop, Sander was full of praise, and his expectations for this car were even higher. Under the anxious urging, Zach brought Sander to the finished garage. You can choose any one of them. These are all high-powered versions. Zach did not bring Sander to test the car. Instead, he brought the test car directly to the conference. Episode 326, Amazing. It's hard to say, but like this pinwheel, there are 80% who say that its exterior is bright and the interior design is pleasing to the eye. And that's enough. Some people, even if they drove a Bugatti, they would still be able to find fault with the car. They had already trained to the point where they could spray everything, even if it was air. These dissenters could still spray out 99 different reasons for refusing to inhale. Although it was a little overboard, it was a fact on the internet now. However, there were even more people who didn't even get a driver's license and were already charging with their keyboards. They had to spit out their opinion first. However, no matter what, they couldn't stop the car from getting popular and sought after. In order to promote the product better, QZ Group specifically invited Sander to be their spokesperson. As a spokesperson, Sander expressed in front of many media outlets that he was very optimistic about the product. It was not just its maneuverability and fashion sense. He was also especially optimistic about the company's sense of responsibility when it revealed its quality problems. In front of the media, Sander was very optimistic about the SUV, showing off the elegance of a qualified spokesperson. However, when he was resting in private, he went to Zach and asked him about his car, including the power system, the suspension system, and so on. He asked him in detail and professionalism. After all, he was a professional racer. But for Zach, he was also a professional in building cars. So he answered Sander's questions precisely, including what Sander wanted to know behind his back. He also answered precisely. So the low-skill version of this car is suitable for household use, but the high-skill version is more suitable for sports people. As Zach spoke, Sander's eyes lit up with excitement, and he rubbed his hands together. I haven't tried the high-rank vehicle with the hydrogen energy system yet, Director Marquez, do you have any more cars here? 
I want to go to the test site. It was the SUV spokesperson. He had gone to win chasing for a test drive at the press conference. Was it appropriate? It's quite suitable. After all, his professionalism was there. So Sander didn't really slip away at the press conference. Only after the press conference ended did he reject the organizer's invitation for lunch and pulled Zach to the production workshop. He needed to take a look at the interior of the car to understand every component in detail and to see if the matching was reasonable. After all, he was a professional racer. To put it bluntly, if he was given a pile of parts, he could save up a car by himself. Thus, witnessing wind chasing's assembly process helped him understand this car better. When the fully automated production workshop expanded in Sanders' eyes, he was amazed. As far as I know, only those big brands will use the fully automated production line to ensure the quality of the assembly, right? Including the paint and installation. All of them were automated operations. There was no need for manual labor. This meant precision. Although manual labor would not be perfunctory, after all, there were times when certain things would be forgotten due to various reasons. For example, in a certain company's internal documentation, a certain assembly workshop staff member picked up a phone call and caused the fixed screw at the base of the engine to be forgotten and tightened. As a result, when the test car was being tested, the engine would... Jump in the cabin, and the test driver would think that it was haunted. This was not a joke, and it was fortunate that the test driver discovered it. If it flowed into the market, it would be very fun. There would definitely be a piece of news. Where did my engine go? Episode 327, Trembling. All the parts of the prototype are customized according to specifications, so the quality is especially stable, and the adjustments are also very effective. However, these customized cars were different. It was not that their quality was bad, but the model of the mass-produced cars was naturally different from the custom-made ones. Zack dared to let Sander directly choose the quality cars, which proved that he had great confidence in this car. Sander did not stand during the ceremony, he excitedly picked one and drove it to the testing field under Zack's lead. Because the site was also very wide, it was enough to make the car fly. Zack had run around this place when he was testing the car. Sander did not stand during the ceremony. After Zack left the front passenger seat, he started to operate violently on the scene. The so-called violent operation was naturally not like the hard work of a newbie. It was a kind of operation that maximized the performance. Zack just took out a lighter and lit a cigarette by the side, and the strong wind carried by the car extinguished the flame. He had no choice but to light the cigarette again. He smoked and admired Sander's driving. He had to admit that Sander was worthy of being the champion of the race. He had real strength. After the two laps, Sander got out of the car and kissed the steering wheel hard. Director Marquez, if there is a competition rule that only mass-produced cars can be used and there is no adjustment, I will definitely choose Wind Chaser. This is amazing. In the hands of professionals, this is simply a race car. No one can deny it. It could be seen that Sander really liked this car. After all, he couldn't help but praise the car's power system. I thought the internal combustion engine had already developed to its peak. Even if the starting price of the hydrogen-powered car was high, it wouldn't be able to achieve the same effect as the internal combustion engine. But the fact is, it really slapped me hard. The power 
of this car is super powerful, but it is linear and very uniform. It will definitely hit wherever it is pointed. It will be there in no time. Sander praised it and once again pointed out that he hoped to have the opportunity to drive this car to participate in the competition. Zach smiled. Impossible, it's just a fantasy. Sander also nodded regretfully. Yeah, it's a pity that Hydrogen Energy can't participate in the internal combustion engine competition. So no matter how excellent it is, it won't have a match in the competition. What a pity. After expressing his regret for the car, Sander said that he would personally write a document for the car and post the experience of driving the test drive on his personal Twitter. Not for promotion, for other benefits, but so people would know what his most anticipated car is. This was not an advertisement, but it would bring great advertising effects. After all, Sander was a professional driver, and if anyone knew about cars, it would be him. Moreover, he had never had any negative news over the years. In this regard, his recommendation was very credible. As the saying goes, return a favor with a peach. There was naturally no unilateral friendship between friends. After Sander expressed enough enthusiasm, and after seeing how much he liked this car, Zach had an idea. I will ask Professor Dusty, the researcher of the hydrogen power system, and his team to build a custom-made car just for you. Although you won't have the chance to participate in the official competition, you will still be able to get what you want in the second competition. Sander was overjoyed, and his eyes lit up. Even the high-efficiency version that was mass-produced would make him like it very much, let alone the custom-made version. The power can be increased. It can make you fly!